All right, good Thursday morning. Yeah, I'm watching a bird. Starlings. There's one on the pole up there, and there's one underneath the camper. Now, the other day, or last week, they were making a nest in the neck. Twice I pulled it out of there. That's what all this stuff on the ground is. They were making a nest up in there, so I got an owl and hung it out here. Well, now it was hanging up here. This morning I get home and there's grass hanging from underneath the camper here. And they were climbing in a hole under there and had a, another nest. All this stuff come out of that one. So I moved the owl down so he's looking under the camper. Time to start shooting some birds. Anyway. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's Dewey. You can see by my shoes. But we're going to get to spraying for Kirk. So I got to get Scooter out. And uh, go over to where he keeps his equipment. Get the sprayer hooked up. We'll run some water through it. Make sure everything's working right, correctly, and then we'll fill her up with drugs and go kill some weeds. So let's see if this little girl will start. Oh. Well, the dome light's on, that's a good thing.
chair hanging next to the building over there. because there's cobwebs on top of it. some water. regular all right minutes 40 minutes 
took care of some paperwork, wrote some bills out. I gave Kirk a call. He was putting his prayer back together. He went up and got new tips and the O-rings and stuff that we needed. And uh, So I told him I'd be over. So I'm heading over there and we're going to get her loaded up and do some spraying. Blue tips are new. Took her out there, winged her out in the driveway. Well, they're up to about 50 pounds of pressure. That's what, about what we spray at, what I spray at. And uh, got a nice pattern coming out of everything. So, yep, looks good. Load up and head to the field. Gibbs is flying around with the airplane, spraying fungicide on weed, I guess. Anyway, time to go. Farming. Gotta go. Alright, well we're getting across here pretty good. The new uh, the new tips don't carry quite as much pressure as the old ones. I'm at 10 mile an hour and we're only at about 40 miles of pressure. So I guess that's a good thing. We're not
get done with this, the uh, rear wing down, hold it up. side of the woods down there. 15 acres down there.
ready to go. Hopefully that came out. She's full. As you've probably seen, she is chuck full. So. One tire's a little soft, so we're going to pull around there. Check it. Put a little air in it. Then we'll be on our way. 65 acre load. One field I've sprayed before. The other field's a nude field, so I'm going to have to map that. Make boundaries and stuff. So anyway, yeah. Alright. Well, I sprayed that 35 acre bean field back there. Bean stubbles. That field I've sprayed before. This field, I did a, a pass along pine trees over here, I don't know if you can see them or not, but all I had was a, an AB line, one AB line, so I just came in here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more passes on the headlands or to ring this field. It's got a house lot, then it's got a creek, and then another house lot. So yeah, it's kind of... We got her done. We're heading north and south now. And, uh... Yeah. Ten after seven. I got this one finished, and then there's a little... A little field on the other side of the creek over there by the cemetery. finished up. I was a half, half a pass short. See the pressure starting to drop, the gallons per acre was going down, so I stopped, shut everything down, turned the tank rinse on, rinsed all the tank down, put her back in spray mode, sprayed that out. Thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you on the next one.